So we did talk about the metric system a little bit. We briefly talked about it. Do you guys, did we talk about where it came from? Who invented it? Oh yeah, yeah. The, two French French guys. the two French guys. And they said the English system is P. And so they created their own, <laughs> they created their own system and they're like, forget 12 inches in a foot, 5,280 feet in a mile, where'd that come from? Now where did a mile come from in the first place? Like who invented that? Okay, so what the metric system does is it, instead of trying to remember all of these numbers like 16 ounces in a pound, eight ounces in a, eight fluid ounces in a cup, like that's, that's just crazy, all right? And they're all different kinds of multiples and things. So the metric system makes it easy. It's all multiple, it's all powers of 10. So there's, there's 10 years in a decade. There's 10... Um, there's 10 decimeters in a meter. There's a hundred centimeters in a, in a meter. Okay. So we have this system where we've got a meter in the middle and we got decimeter, centimeter, millimeter. And then on this side, we got the decameters, hectometers, and kilometers. Did we talk about the different pre prefixes? 10. You know what this means, decimeter? Literally means a tenth of a meter. Okay, so how many decimeters are in a meter? Ten. Yeah, because this is one tenth of a meter. What does cent mean in our lives? One hundred. One hundred, right? A, a cent is a hundredth of a dollar, right, Grady? Yeah. Okay, so centimeter is a hun literally a hundredth of a meter. So instead of giving all these different names, they took this, this word and said, this is a meter, this is a tenth of a meter. In English, I would say, how many hundredths of a meter is that? That's what centimeter means. Kilometer, okay? If I say, how many kilometers is that? Or kilometers is that? I'm just saying, how many thousands of meters is that? Well, five kilometers is 5,000 meters. So does that make sense? Now here's what, made, what they did to make it easier. These are Latin prefixes. Anyone take Latin? Okay, so metric, and here's the meter, and then here's the decimeter. So pretty, centimeter, <gasps> millimeter. Isn't that so pretty and soft and gentle? That's because these are the little guys. These are the thing, the little things that are that go inside of the meters. But then on this side, it's not so pretty. Decameters, hectometers, kilometers. That's so violent. You're decking a meter, and then what the hexameter, and then you're like killing a meter. That's so violent. These are the Greek. These are Greek prefixes. Okay, so the difference between Greek and Latin, Latin is such a beautiful, pretty language. Greek is a very harsh language. It sounds like you're mad when you're talking. Right? Killa, hecta, deca. Those are Greek prefixes. These are Latin prefixes. Yes. Um, so for the... Um, for the kilometer, is it, is there, cause like, I heard that, I know that there's like, kilometer. All right, and hey there's... guys in the back, you guys are, this is like the four of you. I've been talking to you like the whole day. Let's not be distracted by each other. Okay. Yes, Kiara. Um, so is there like, is there some type of similarity with a kilo and a kilometer? Yep, a kilo is a thousand, like a, Kilo is usually when you're talking about ki kilo liters. So a kilo of something is a thousand liters of something. Okay. Oh, wow. And that's what's cool about the metric system. This is length measurement and length, but then they've got this thing going. They've got liters. And a lot of times they'll use a capital L because a, a lowercase L looks like a what? Uh, one. Looks like a one. So they stay away from that. 
So this is literally a tenth of a liter, a hundredth of a liter, a thousandth of a liter, 10 liters, 100 liters, and 1,000 liters, okay? So that's liquid measurement. So none of, no more ounces and pounds and quarts and gallons and all that trash. You just have to worry about this, okay? What about weight in the metric system? What's the main unit in weight? Yeah? I think it's gram. Yep, gram. And look, they use the same prefixes, decigram, centigram, milligram, decagram, hectogram, and kilogram. Okay? So isn't that nice? You don't have to worry about all these different numbers like you do in the U.S. customary system. Now just wait until we convert in the metric system. Look at this. 1,000 millimeters equals one meter, right? Well, it actually equals 100 centimeters equals 10 decimeters equals one meter, okay? So see how the place, it's like a place value. Every time you go over one, it's like another place value. So, so if this was like the, the units, one meter, here's point one, right? Here's the tenths place. Here's the hundredths place, the thousandths place. Here's the tens place. Here's the hundreds place and the thousands place. You see how it looks like the, the place value system? Yes, you have a question? Uh-huh, uh-huh. So here's the cool thing. When you convert in the metric system, all you have to do is move the decimal. Five kilometers. Well, you guys know how many meters five kilometers is? Can you do that in your head? Well, what does that literally mean? Five kilometers. What does that mean, Avery? Yeah, 5,000 meters. Kilometers literally means 1,000 meters. So 5,000 meters is 5,000 meters. <laughs> Isn't that cool? So here's the deal. You're going from this position, one, two, three to the right. So look where you're moving the decimal. One, two, three. So you have to add five, three zeros. See how we went? One, two, three to the right. So when you convert in the metric system, you're not doing math. You're just moving a dot left and right. That's it. Okay? That's pretty easy. That's why they created it this way, is if you're dealing with powers of 10, when you multiply and divide by powers of 10, you're just moving a dot across the page. Yeah, Hunter? How Question? Many, how many millimeters are in five kilometers? So you're gonna go from kilometers, one, two, three, four, five, six to the right. So if I said five kilometers equals how many millimeters, you have to go one, two, three, four, five, six to the right. Five million millimeters are in five kilometers. Oops, I needed that there. There we go. Yes? Um, so I just realized that if you look at the metric system, you can see that in the middle it's the meter, liter, and grams. And like, you can, you can simply just go like, there's, there's 10, grams and then there's a hundred grams a thousand grams uh -huh. so it's basically you're putting grams at the end and, and it kind of reminds me of like fractions yeah. like there's this many grams out of this many yeah it's yeah so, so organized this is why i love this it's the so metric organized. system yeah, yeah. it's it, it is so much easier and see how we just took the math out of it all we did was move a dot that way six places because that's how you get from kil kilometers to millimeters one, two, three, four, five, six to the right. Okay, let's try another one. All right, two liters equals how many milliliters? Two liters equals how many milliliters? Three people, only three people know? Do you know Adam? 
2,000. That's it, because you're going from liters. One, two, three to the right. So you need to go one, two, three to the right. So you need to add three zeros. Good. All right. So here's, here's something cool. So you can do that with anything. Now these are actually more difficult because I guess you can't see the decimal point, right? If you don't see it, remember it's always on the end. So let's try something. Let's try it. one, two, three, point, four, five, six, um, deca grams equals how many uh, centigrams? Decagrams to centigrams. How many places do you move the decimal? In which direction? Do you know? Or do you need to go to the bathroom? Okay, Grace, do you know? Um, it is, um, you move it to the right. Yep, you're here and you go one, two, three to the right. So where's your decimal going to end up? Um, after the six. One, two, three to the right. So just write, rewrite the digits with the decimal in the right place. So you don't need that decimal because it ended up on the end. That's not bad, is it? So much easier converting in the metric system. You're just dividing by 10 and 100, 1,000, and you're, or you're multiplying by 10, 100, or 1,000 or more, okay? When you do that, you're just moving the decimal. It's nice. All right, do I need to do any more or do you guys feel pretty good? I feel very fine. Okay, do you guys know like, um, probably like, like how many how many centimeters are in an inch? Do you guys know that? Yeah, 100 centimeters in an inch. No, 100 centimeters are in a meter. Oh, I know, 100. How many centimeters are in an inch? Do you know, Hunter? Like two and a half? Yep, 2.54. Okay, there's 2.5 centimeters in one inch. All right, what about liters and quarts? Do you guys know the comparison between liters and quarts? What's bigger? A liter is just a little bit bigger, okay? If you look on a two liter, um, uh, it, you'll see like 2.0 something quarts, okay? So liters are a little bit bigger. So they used to call liters just big quarts, okay? Yes. Me? Yeah, question? <laughs> yeah. Doesn't like quart, quarts kind of sound like quarter? Yep, and that's where they get that name. Quart is a quarter of a gallon. So how many quarts are in a gallon? Four. Four. Okay, that's where they get that number. That's where they get that word. Okay, what about uh, yards or meters? Which one's bigger? Meters. Meters are a little bit bigger. They're about three inches bigger than a yard. Okay, so there's some comparison there, but... Um, you see why this system is so much neater, more organized, and easier to convert back and forth in. Okay. How, how long is an inch? An inch? <laughs> it's like two no, point, no, like two point five four inches, two point five four centimeters. So it's in between a centimeter and a decimeter. Okay. So a decimeter is is like about that big. Okay. A centimeter is about that big, so an inch is somewhere between there. It's 2.54 centimeters. Yeah. Yep. What would, go, what would come after the, uh, the kilogram? Nothing. That's the beauty of it. You're done after kilogram, after kiloliters, after kilometers. Now, you can have a million kilograms, but there's no word for that. Milkogram? Mil milkogram. <laughs> milkogram. Okay. I don't think you can milkogram. That, that'd be weird. Okay. So this is it. These are you just need to remember six prefixes. Okay. Kila, hecta, deca, decca, centa, milla. So do you see the difference? Do you feel the difference? Like these are little guys. So they're really like whispery. Decigram, centigram, milligram. Okay, and then you got the big ones. Deca, hecta, killa. Those are the big guys, the big giants. Especially okay? that last one. Yeah, killa. killa. You're, I mean, you're, you know, it's like you're beating up the gram and then you're like, 
Now you don't even know if it is a gram, and then you just kill it. What the heck is a gram? Yeah, what the heck's a gram? It's like, it's like an easy way to remember, like, that the last one is going to be like, kilo, ki yep. like, the kilo. A big it's one. It's because it's the last one, and it kills the rest of them. Yep. <laughs> Murderer. All right, you guys good? Good job. Black man!